Hey, how's it going guys? JC here. Welcome to episode 5 of the Iron 4 to Diamond series. OP.GG and the runes are on screen right now. And as voted by you guys, we are going to be playing Lucian top with Kleptomancy. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. So the idea with this Kleptomancy build is that whenever you use an ability, the next two auto attacks both proc Klepto. Oh, what? Someone died. And that's what makes it really, really good. And also you get skill points. So once you max out your E, it costs no mana. So that all you need is Essence Reaver to just spam through your abilities. And because E is free, you can just dash, use an ability. And then, you know, you, you have your four shots, obviously, because you use dash, two shots. One ability, two shots. And you get the E off cooldown again once you have Essence Reaver. So that's the idea. So yeah, there we go. We just got one proc. Oh, only one? I guess because my passive faded. So we just want to proc Klepto as many times as possible and also sort of trade aggressively as well. That way we can utilize our teleport. I need to turn the sound on. There we go. I also noticed that a lot of Lucians, they like to use W first, so I saw an opportunity to use W because I can shoot at them easier. Ooh, there we go. We got the big boy trade right there. So Pantheon's somewhere down there. Karthus is giving us vision, so this is really nice. We should be fine. I also get a lot of mana potions with Klepto. So that's the neat thing about this setup as well. You can be more liberal with your mana. Okay, this is Monka S. There's so many minions. And I got it. Nice. Also, Scion's hitbox for Q is pretty insane. So you can't underestimate it. Let's get a ward over here. Because we have Scuttle Vision. So as long as we have that warded, we have the earliest... Warning, like, possible. But you might notice later on that I'm not an ADC player, so... Woo. I learned that one from Trindamir. You always use your E as he's jumping to you. That way you waste his mana. And he really gets nothing out of it, so... Ah! There we go. I think we're CSing alright. Oh my god, that didn't kill. Pantheon could still be in that bush. That's what's really Monka S right now. Oh, that hit me. Yeah. I'll pop a biscuit here. Okay, looks like he might be leaving us alone now. Oh, wow, rip. Alright, just keep proccing Klepto. So, right now we have 35 gold. If I pop the slice sack of gold, we have 85. And hopefully later on we get some skill points as well. So that we can get our E maxed a lot faster. And then it'll be free. It won't cost any mana. I can save my mana potions as well. Like, if I want it all in, I'll just pop a mana potion. There's a chance that Pantheon could be hanging around, so... Not gonna do anything crazy at the moment. Ah, missed that. Okay, he actually went back. That's a really bad time for him to go back. He could have stayed. So, right now we have our life steal and also damage. So, whenever we go up and do a short trade, it's going to hurt a lot more. Oh, why is he standing still? I feel like Zed. Oh, by the way, if you guys are in lower elo, make sure you orb walk. So, orb walk is when you attack. And then you right click on the ground, then you attack, right click on the ground. Never stand still, guys. Never, ever, like, no circumstances do you stand still. 
Unless you're just very lazy and yeah. Even if you're doing dragon, just get into a habit of moving after every attack. So that becomes muscle memory. Okay, that's a pretty good trade for me. I heal up with Vamp Scepter, so that is super worth. That sounds like hiding in a bush. I guess he's leeching EXP. I'll let this push into me. Or maybe he just went back, so we'll just freeze this on him. Either way works for us. We just get further and further ahead because this is going to be pushing him. Okay, he's here. Sion pushes really hard. He's like a semi-range champion. So I just need to thin it out once he comes over and casts a few abilities. Just so it doesn't crash into tower. I can't really tank minions. So this is just lane management really. Letting it push into us. And then I want to chase him down. I have to remember my ult is on smart cards. Okay, so next wave is coming in. Executed. This is gonna keep pushing into us. We're just freezing it for the time being. Nice, we got him. Okay, now we just have to get out of here. Pop a mana potion. And I think we can get out with this Blast Cone, really nice. Beautiful. So we just flash his flash because it was guaranteed kill. Very quick to decide on that if you know you're going for the kill. And we were zoning him off that much to the point where we got ahead in EXP. <laughs> what is this Scion? Alright, let's get out of here as soon as we can. Actually, we might be able to take a tower plating. I do have teleport, so... Alright, there we go. It's one tower plating. Line it up. Huh, interesting. Alright, we won't question that. You can't explain the unexplainable. But nice that we got rid of that ward. And we'll just keep shoving him. Oh, that still hit me. Okay, that's a pretty decent amount of- Oh, I think I'm dead. Wait, that Pantheon could have kept chasing me. He could have just orb walked me down. I guess I'll teleport back to lane then. This is like- It's slow pushing into me. I'm still gonna- Oh! <gasps> Oh, when did I walk out of fountain? Oh, I'm trolling. That's okay though. I have my life still. I'm pretty much full mana, so it doesn't matter. And it's fine. Has been slain. I thought I was in the fountain for some reason. Walked out. An enemy has been slain. Okay, so this is pushing towards me. Perfect. And the reason why I teleport is I just want to stay ahead in EXP anyway. Maybe I'll pop this elixir because I'm not used to having elixirs, so I need to utilize it better. 
still a learning experience for me. Also a learning experience like playing Lucian and ranged champions in general. So this is a really good practice for me. So I do appreciate that you guys are choosing a variety. Like, really do appreciate it. See, I'm full health now, so it didn't matter. It didn't matter that I trolled. We'll wait for Sion to come over, we'll get another kill, and then we'll finish off his tower. That's the plan, is we freeze it like this, just deny him as much as possible. And when he walks up, we can use our dash to him, then use our Blade of the Rune King to slow him. Then we just run him down with abilities. That's the plan, guys. But if he comes, like, abruptly... Ooh. Who's teleporting? Echo. Okay. That Pantheon's been top quite a few times. An enemy has been slain. Mm, nice work by AZ. I feel like I'm gonna be here forever. Oh, here he is. Okay, well. Ah. Uh, Wait, why did he... But he was so squishy. 26 CS. Oh my god. Honestly, I didn't even do anything. I had two kills and there's 16 more, so my team's doing well. <laughs> like, enemy team's not doing so hot this game, unfortunately. It would be fun to have the teams be like... My team's slightly losing. But as long as no one AFKs, that's the important thing. There we go, get more Klepto procs in. Just lay the smack down. We have infinite mana with this setup because we have biscuits and we have our Klepto procs for our potions. What? Uh, oh, that's my Wrath Elixir, right? Wait, Rogue? Wrath? What's the difference? Isn't that the same potion? I guess we'll pop it after this goes away because I think it's the same thing. It just named differently for no apparent reason. Also, where's Pantheon? I guess we'll get this tower then. Oh, there he is. Maybe we should go help him. Nah, he's fine. Oh, why is he going back in? Got him. Oh, got the tower at least. But yeah, Lucian's hop, really strong pick, guys. Really nice. That's a good one. And Klepto Lucian makes a lot of sense as well. So if you want to go Lucian top, Klepto Lucian. I don't recommend press the attack because it's only good in the bot lane when there's two people attacking because press the attack makes them vulnerable. So you might want to go a different keystone. Oh yeah, this is the combo. You just unload it with W first. Then as your two orders are flying out, you use your E. So it's something like that. Just wanted to do this camp to show you guys. But Lucian uses so much mana, it's insane. Okay. Let's head back now. We might have gotten some skill orbs already. I'm not sure. But yeah, it was straight up by a black cleaver. Holy moly. We are strong. So let's go and wreck some face now, if my team doesn't end it. Okay, so this is what I was doing um, before making this series is, you know, I was trying to get to Iron 4-0 LP and I'll get teams like this where my team just simply wins. I could literally do nothing right now and still win. I could just farm jungle camps, do nothing. And I wasn't really doing much in lane either. I was just playing it out, you know, testing new things, having fun. And yeah, it's pretty chill. Okay, so, wait, let me finish off this camp and join my team to get some KDA, just for fun. Shut down. Okay, 
Okay, let's head over there. Next wave is coming in, so I can potentially get a tower here. If not, then I can mess up this pantheon. Ah, oh, never mind. There's two people there. We'll help take this thing. Don't want to use up too much mana. Oh, nice. We got the chaos. Okay, yeah, let's push our bot. Because there's people going mid, we don't want to, like, share EXP and waste, you know, the entire team's resource by grouping with them. This pushed in, so that's fine. Ooh. Holy moly, we just destroyed her health. Poor Ash. So yeah, you dash in. The combo is you just dash in and use your Blade of the Ruin King. Two autos. And then you can use your Q or your W. And then two more autos. I recommend using your W if they are running away. So the right play was to use W there after my E. Other combo you can do is W into R because when your allies hit your Ardent Blaze or when you hit your Ardent Blaze, you get movement speed. So that's why people throw their W and then their R out from like super long range attacks. Oh, there he is. Whoa. He went far. I don't think I'm catching up to that one. But there is Pantheon coming over. Let's see if we could 1v1 him. Oh, that was easy. We just have to E his W. Also, I used my Q there because minions were in the way, so my W wouldn't have reached her. Oh, let's join in. Have some more fun. Oh, man. I thought I could reach with my Q, but I couldn't, so my character was like pathing weird. I flashed over to get the KS, but it didn't work out. The game is over, so I don't need the flash anymore. But yeah, this was a really quick game. So was every other game so far in the series. So hopefully we'll get a challenge soon. Let's pop a mana potion. Uh-oh. people here. Let's pop both our potions. See what they have. Man, I have so much more gold left over. Oh, damn. Okay, I couldn't do anything there. Echo's so slippery. Holy moly. Let's go back get some items. Oh, what? No one saw that. I just want to test out, you know, playing Lucian because at this point we're going to end the game a bit too quickly. I do have teleport. Yeah, it looks like they'll defend fine. We can actually just pick up Essence Reaver here. And... Let's go. <laughs> I think the right build is to go Rapid Fire or... PD. 
But because the game's ending, Essence Reaver sounds like, oh, where is he going? They're doing Baron. That's a bit of an overkill. I mean, it is the best play if you're not confident in winning, but it's 41 to 11. I need a guinea pig. Okay. Holy moly. Wait, why did he... There we go, 2v5. We don't need our team. We're too powerful. We actually hit the 10 kill mark again. You guys need to challenge me where I can't hit the 10 kill mark. Actually, you know what? GG well played. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that one. Lucian, very strong top lane pick by the way. Very, very powerful. So this works in high elo as well. I've seen a few Lucians in high elo. But I think Trindamir, I, I already got it down pat how to beat Lucian as Trindamir because you just take Ghost. Double armor runes. You can even go cloth armor. If you go that, you can last till level 6. And Lucian cannot do anything. Like, trust me on this one. Once you hit level 6, you still have those cloth armor. You might have, like, one or no potions left. But you'll be healthy. So you can just all-in Lucian with Ghost. So, yeah, that is pretty awesome. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this one as well. It went to 22 minutes. And we're almost out of Iron 4. By the way, once you get to promo series, you only need to win one game to get to, like, Iron 3 or Iron 2. Because... I already been into this promos by accident and won one by accident, so I had to dodge my promos to get out of it and just dodge all the way to zero LP. That's basically what happened, so we will get that one free win, but it's really hard to lose. Let's be honest here. If I was to AFK after those two kills in lane, uh, we would have still won. That's just like how it goes so far. Anyways, I'm going to be giving away Papercraft Anivia, the green chroma LPP thing, so if you want a chance to win, just be sure to comment down below your mastery points for Anivia. I know there's quite a few Anivia one tricks out there, so I want to get those codes out to them first. So post your mastery points, the highest like two or three gets the code. I would need proof as well, and I'll message you if you have the highest, go onto Discord, and then we'll figure something out. Make sure that everything's legitimate, and then I'll give you the code. Be sure to comment down below, and also remember to vote. Thumbs up and comment down below which champion you want to see in the next episode, because the votes are dwindling a little bit, so be sure to do that. And I'll see you guys all in the next episode. Cheers.